Welcome. Welcome to the fundamentals to gain inner peace. And it is Tuesday night. We usually do it on Wednesdays. I'm glad you're here. And for those who can't make it, we'll listen to the recording, Mr. Shem. So here we are with your host, Coach Menachem Bernfeld, discussing self-compassion. And at the end, we're going to do, at the end, today, tonight, we'll do some guided meditation, slow things down, and let's see where it takes us. So before we start, how are you doing? And if you've been here last week, I'm just wondering how the idea from last week sat during the week. We discussed how there's a part of us that is perfect and doesn't need to change. And especially in today's days, people are, well, there are two types of people. People want to, you know, working on themselves, which is amazing. Others are disconnected, feel numb, maybe guilty, because they know that they're supposed to be busy, you know, introspection, but they're not. But I would say just showing up to, you know, to this class that itself shows you know, you're doing the work. But the idea of if I tell you you're fine, you're perfect, the way you are, you don't need to change. How does that feel? Some people say it feels great, but I'm not sure if it's true. So that first piece, that awareness is very important just to see what comes up. If I tell you you're perfect, you're doing great, keep it up just to see what comes up, how do you feel? And then you might say, but the things that I need to fix, say, okay, that's amazing. But we, we discussed, there's a difference if you're changing out of growth, continuing growth, or changing from a guilty place, um, from a place where deep down you feel like a failure, you feel like a nothing, worthless, Walking around deep down feeling you need to please, I have to perform, I have to make sure other people don't find out what I'm thinking about myself. So that's not a good place to be. And we have to understand just self-acceptance, no matter what you look like, no matter what you're doing, to be able to accept yourself, that's number one. Accept the full you, yeah because no one is perfect. We're perfectly unperfect. That's how Hashem created us. There's no way we can be perfect. We're human. So first of all, that idea of self-acceptance, self which is not easy, and it's a skill, and it takes practice. You can hear, you know, people talk about it. It sounds good, but at the end of the day, you have to go home, slow down, and get to that place of self-acceptance, which is not easy. But... Last week, we discussed a deeper layer of understanding that we all, you know, part, we're all part of Hashem, and that part as is pure. If you can, for a few minutes, connect to that part, that you're perfect. You're perfect. Nothing needs to change. Connect to that part. We'll get back to the things that you think you feel guilty, you feel you have to grow. We'll get back to that. But could you connect to that part of saying... There's a part of me that's perfect. And it's true. So that's what we discussed last week. If you want to listen to the recording, recordings are available on menachemburnful.com. Listen to it to see what comes up. So before we go to the meditation, tonight's meditation, just the idea of connecting to Hashem, I believe that it all boils down to relationships. And if we know how to understand, connect in, on this world, the relationships that we have in this world, it has a connection with Hashem too. Whether it's a relationship with your parents, your kids, just looking, what does my relationship look like? What is my relationship to my parents? What's my relationship to my kids? What's my relationship to my friends? My relationship to myself. What does that look like? And ultimately, it's relationship with Hashem. 
So stop for a moment and let me ask you a question. Have you ever felt held, felt cared for, understood? And feel free to share in the chat. Let me know if you, it's a yes or no question. Or maybe, ever felt that deep sense of feeling of somebody understands you? And many times you can look back, there's one person when you were younger, there was one person feeling that just that I'm I'm okay. I'm in a good place. Just stop for a moment. Let's see what comes up. Have you ever had that feeling? Beautiful. Yes, yes. No. Yes. Beautiful. Amazing. Part of you is yes, and part of you is no. And just understand that if you haven't had that, it might be hard to understand what am I looking for? I never felt it, so what am I looking for? And ultimately, you want to be able to feel that with the connection of it with Hashem. But if you don't have that in this world, if you don't have that over here, then we don't even know what it feels like. There's a story with a struggling child. There was the Rebbe that called him every Friday. Every Friday, he, 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 he you know, made a phone call. But the interesting thing is that the child never picked up, but he knew there was somebody there. <laughs> somebody cares for him. But it's more that deep feeling. Something that you have to stop and think. Because if you're busy running, it's not going to come up. Amazing. If somebody shares with you something that you did, feedback, just, wow, somebody cares, values. If you have that feeling, if, you, if, if you're struggling to feel that feeling, that's something that we have to learn, relearn, reparent, okay? We can't point fingers and maybe the people around me can't give it to you. You know, the people around you can't give it to you. But as an adult, to slowly get there, I know it's hard because I don't know what I'm really feeling, but just that that few steps, that slowly to get to that place, a place where you slowly take care of yourself, understand what you need, be there for yourself. If you need the feedback, you can give it to yourself. Give yourself a hug. And in the beginning, you're like, why am I doing this so silly? But eventually you can get to a place to understand, wow, this is something I need. And many times it's easier to think, what does my neighbor need? What does my friend need? If I could give it to them, you know, superficial, like be there for them, but think, what are they, what, what do they feel when they get it? And then think, what do I want to feel? It's not easy. Emotions come up because you might not, not want to go there. Because you might find yourself in a place where you haven't had it for so many years, you haven't had it at all, that could be painful. That's emotion, you know, that it, those emotions come up. But if you can learn how to sit with those emotions, be there with those emotions, soothe it, listen to it. And yes, eventually you get to a place where you understand what you need and you can give it to yourself. So what comes up when you hear me talking about this? Just be aware of whatever comes up. And it doesn't mean that you had, you know, looking back at the younger years, it could be you had a beautiful um, upbringing, you know, uneventful. We discussed it many times. But many people had a difficult like, relationship growing up, whether it's with their parents, or maybe they had no relationship, cold relationship, whatever your relationship looked like. And those ideas, that's where we're coming from. And we might have to change. There are so many people out there. So many people talking about loneliness. There are so many people that are craving just to feel understood. Just so somebody can listen to them, to be real. 
And if you can do it, you know, sit with other people, that's amazing and that's beautiful. Many times you could do it for others, but you can't do it for yourself. But eventually you can get to a place where you can do it. Um, another question, what do you see when you look in the mirror? And that's not easy. Things come up. And I remember when I started the journey, you know, looking in the mirror wasn't easy, but eventually you can get there. And there is a book out there. There's something they called mirror work. Um, it's, I think, 21 Days to Heal Yourself by Lewis Hay. So the idea is you look inside the mirror and you slowly create a relationship with yourself. Because if we can't feel lovable by ourselves, then wherever we go, we have that feeling. The world might be a dark place, lonely place. Because wherever I go, that's where I am. And whatever I feel, it goes with me. So if I can't be there for myself and learn how to slowly love myself, how can I give it to others, to my kids? And how can I feel it, that we've got a relationship? In Mitzvah Shem, I am planning on maybe, I'm not sure how, but to go through the book step by step. There's 21 days. We can do it in a few weeks. Or, you know, it doesn't have to take 21 days. It could take longer. Give it time. It takes time. You know, those steps, you can't just run through it and do it. So um, we'll keep you updated to see, you know, what, when, and where, but it's an amazing work. An idea to just to be able to connect to yourself, start the journey, to be there for yourself so that you can be there for others and uh, have that relationship with your relationships and ultimately with Hashem. And there's so many people that need it. But what's important to remember is this work is not a one-time thing, okay? It is something that you have to continue constantly. If you joined us Sunday night with Rabbi Aaron David, it's an amazing talk. The, the voices, the messages, the tape recorder that we have in our heads, slowly we have to be able to talk to ourselves. You know, he said that we have to start talking to ourselves, to ourselves, not to listen to ourselves so much, start talking to ourselves. Yes, step number one is to listen, to identify what are my voices, what's going on over there. Eventually, to be able to talk to yourself, to get that healthy message and give it over to yourself. But that's important. It doesn't take a week. It's not like you go to you know a speech. He said amazing. That was amazing, and I approve, and it really connected, resonates. It's work. It's work. But another week, a day, another day, you feel down. And eventually you learn how to be there for yourself with the ups and downs. Okay, so let's get started. Are you ready for some guided meditation? Self-compassion meditation. Let's see where this goes. Okay, so let's begin. Just find a comfortable place. Comfortable position, make yourself comfortable sitting, lying down, whatever it is. And if it feels comfortable, you can close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. In through your nose. Fill up your lungs completely. And exhale through your mouth, letting go of any tension or stress. Let it go. Anything that you're carrying with you. Another deep breath in. Oh, and let it all out. Beautiful. You're doing great. Another deep breath in. At your own pace. Allow your body to relax with each exhale. And feel yourself becoming more grounded in the present moment. Now gently bring your attention to your body. 
notice any areas of tension, tightness, or discomfort. I don't need to change anything, just notice. And then just take another deep breath in. And with every exhale, just relax. Imagine you breathe, your breath is like a warm wave of relaxation flowing through each part of your body. Bringing ease and exhale, release, let it all out. Beautiful. If you find your mind wandering, that's okay. Gently bring it back to your breath and keep on breathing. Back to the sensations in your body. Beautiful. Now I invite you to bring to mind a situation in your life where you may be struggling, some challenge that you're facing, a difficult emotion, maybe a mistake that you made. Just take a moment to acknowledge whatever comes up for you without judgment. That first thing that comes up and whatever you feel, it's okay. Just keep on breathing and just whatever comes up, a challenge that you're going through. As you hold the situation in your awareness, Gently place your hand over your heart. Feel the warmth and connection of your hand resting there. Just feel it. Deep breath in and out. Just feel your hands on your heart. Beautiful, whatever comes up, it's okay. And now silently you can say to yourself, this is a challenge for me. I, may I be kind to myself in this moment. May I give myself some compassion, compassion that I really need. Just breathe in and out. Just offer yourself some kind words you're here for yourself. Just like you would tell a friend, a good friend, You can say, may I accept myself as I am, the way I am. May I be patient with myself. Might be hard. I deserve patience. May I forgive myself. May I learn to forgive myself. It's okay. And let these words sink in. Just feel whatever comes up. Feel the compassion. Feel your hand on your heart. Just feel it. Let it sink in. Feel these words sinking into your heart as you extend love and care towards yourself. And know what, that whatever you're going through, you deserve compassion just like anyone else. Deep breath in and out.
And now let's take a moment to embrace, to embrace your whole self, your strengths, your imperfections, your struggles, your joys, the full self, the full self. So stay with it, take it in, your joys, your ups and downs. You are a whole and complete person, deserving of love and compassion. And in this moment, in this space, there's no need to fix or change anything about yourself. Just hold yourself in compassion. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in, filling yourself with kindness. And as you exhale, let go of any harsh judgments, self-criticism, any of those thoughts that come up. And as you continue with yourself, by holding yourself in this space of compassion. Know that you're not alone. Everybody experiences suffering, challenges, situations, struggles in their own way. Let's take a moment to connect with all of us here together and all those out there that need the love and compassion. And maybe we can say, may all beings find peace. May all beings be free from suffering. May we all learn to be kind to ourselves and send it out. Send it out to all those that need it. Take it in for yourself and send it out to all those that crave for that love and compassion. Feel the warmth of compassion flowing through you and outwards, connecting you to others. Think of somebody out there that needs it and send them the love. Send them the care, the understanding they need. Deep breath in and out. And let's stay with this for a moment. With whatever comes up, you're okay, you can let it come up. Deep breath in and out. And as we bring this meditation to a close, gently bring your awareness back to your breath. Just notice the rise and fall of your chest. You can wiggle your fingers, toes. Feel your body grounded in the present moment. Deep breath in and out. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes, come back to the room, to the space here. Just taking along with yourself that self-compassion and kindness for yourself and for others. Beautiful. Okay. So how was that? Where are you? Let me know in the chat what came up and any questions, put them in the chat. Wow. I'm so afraid to do this. Every time I hold my hand on my heart, I feel so much pain for a reason unknown to me and I burst into tears. Wow, just that awareness. 
just to be aware. And many times it could be things that we don't know. Try to spend some more time with yourself, you know, a little bit more compassion. Hopefully, eventually you can get to a place where eventually let it out, know what it is, but you don't have to know what it is. Just general compassion for yourself. How to cry something out without letting it back in. And if I understand the question, maybe sometimes we're scared that when we let it out, it might go back in. But these are questions really that our mind wants to understand. If you feel the feeling of crying, you, you know, just let things happen. And many times there's a fear. I don't know what's going to happen. I, I might not be able to stop. It's too painful. I'm not sure. So many times it's good to do it with somebody else that could hold that space. But if you can do it yourself, if you feel like crying, cry. Cry, even if you don't know why. Let it out. Those are emotions. When was the last time you cried? It's a question to ask yourself. We all have ups and downs. We all have reasons to cry. couldn't do it I wasn't able to do it fully feel guilty that's okay have some compassion to that thought you're okay we don't need to be perfect even with the, tonight's meditation you're thinking did it work it didn't work I'm not sure is it for me that's those are thoughts hello to those thoughts and have compassion and spend some time with yourself, you know, do it again. I felt pain and shed tears. Then I had compassion for myself that I'm okay with the way I am. And I'm a wonderful, a worthwhile person. Beautiful. Beautiful. We need more of this. Okay, so no matter where you are, no matter what you're feeling. We learn how to be there with compassion, the ups and the downs, the pain, the joys. Create that space where you can let it out, let it be. And you're the adult. You're the one that's creating that space for whatever emotions that wants, wants to come up. So I'm just going to take a moment and have compassion for all of those that had a hard time. For all of those who are not sure have questions, feel guilty, don't know, confused, feel pain, just we're here, we're in this together. We're not going to run for it, from it. We're going to feel it and let it come up. With just focusing on your breath, connect back to your breath and let it come up and have compassion. And all those thoughts and worries and ideas and not sure, we can have compassion to that too. With those, you know, you're okay. It's okay to have questions, okay not to do it fully. It's okay to feel guilty. I know you might not like it, but eventually by creating that space, understanding yourself, listening to yourself, that's what we need. That's what a good friend needs. And that's what we all need. So thank you very much. Thank yourself. And I say this every every time we join. Thank yourself. But I mean it. Take some time to tell yourself. Thank you for taking some time off. Time that you deserve. And hopefully you do this at least once a day. Time for yourself that you deserve. With compassion. With understanding. With a listening ear. To really turn inwards. To reflect. Where am I? What am I feeling? What am I not feeling? What are my worries? What are my joys? Listen to yourself. You deserve it. Thank you very much for joining. And the Mitch Shan will see you next week, Wednesday night. Have a great week. Take care of yourself. You deserve it.